Well, that was perfect timing, just as Chip squatted to pee. The goats, are not, goats and I are touring the new fence we got put up. I'm walking them around the perimeter. We just moved them in yesterday. The fence got the NRCS fence project was completed yesterday. And we moved them in, but they were kind of hanging out uh, near the area where the gate is that we put them in. So, oops, almost fell. I'm leading the caravan around the outside perimeter. Now I gotta walk up this doggone hill, see if I can keep from hurting myself. <laughs> Just to give them an idea that they've got all this space. <laughs> you can see the angle. Oh, goodness. They're gonna have this place looking like a looking like a national park. It's already pretty. Come on, goats, goats, goats. There's Bean. <laughs> I probably can take her take that uh, stick off of her horns now, because this fence is a stay tough fence that. While the goats can get their heads in it, they can also get their heads out. So I had duct taped a stick on Bean's horns here a few months ago because she was steadily sticking her head through the fence. And doggone, <laughs> she could have a knee-high lush grass on the side of the fence that she's on. And she'd see a little twig of grass outside the fence and she's gonna stick her head through it and then get to hollering because she couldn't get it back out. What do you think, ladies? What do you think, ladies? Y'all got lots to eat. I don't know what the acreage is. I need to figure it out. I think we figured out it ended up being uh, 1,692 feet of fence. Let's come on up this way. Goats, goats, goats. Sorry, the camera's a little shaky. I'm just holding it with my hand. Come on, goats, goats, goats. Well, you know Brownie and Bean's gonna come. The other ones look like they're going back the other way. Goats, goats, goats! Brownie and Bean, the two puppies. <laughs> the two hand-raised ones are coming. Come on, goats. Here we got 12-foot gate right here. We got three 12-foot gates. This one got bent. I don't know if it was bent from the store or in the insulation process, but this is at the back. And oh, we put it right across our existing trail. Oh, look, that's good. The goats cut up through the woods, so that's great. They're getting it. Can you see them down here? That means they're getting exposed to, to more. I just want them to know that they've got lots of stuff, lots of variety to get to. There's an existing partial pasture fence. In fact, they're eating stuff off of it right now that I've got to take down because we don't need that anymore. It's completely inside a fenced area. But anyway, this gate goes across a trail. There's where the trail continues. And it goes uh, to uh, the rope swing you may have seen Tomas on. In fact, you can see the ladder the old pool ladder right there. So that's where the rope swing is. But we're excited about that. Let me swing back around. Give you an idea of where we are. Uh, you probably can't quite see it through the trees, but you will in a minute when I keep walking. But inside that pasture, right through there is the high tunnel, the back of the high tunnel. Let's keep going this way and you can get an idea of where we are if you have followed Alderman Farms for any length of time. I'm going to come around this tree 
So we had to get creative <laughs> right here because this was such a such a straight drop down that the the uh, and the ground is soft, so it was pulling the T posts, um, this post and that post out of the ground. So what we did was just drove some T posts, extra T posts, way down in the ground to uh, to hold those down. So it's fine. Now I still got places at the bottom here um, that a coyote could get under. But you know what, I, I, you know, we just, I mean, we could roll some logs up there or something, but that's also, this is also going to be a drainage path going right down through here. So I'm afraid to block it up. It might tear the fence down. So coming back up to the back corner. And we can, it's a great exercise path. We can walk around the outside of the fence. I may come in here with my tractor and clean up this corner, even though one person can easily navigate through there, as you see. There's the high tunnel. Can you see it? Can you see the high tunnel? So, it kind of gives you a little perspective on where we are. It cuts through where, what we used to call our existing pasture. And see, I have cut this fence right here because that fence did go right across through here. And we had a terrible time keeping it tore that fence down just with drainage through there. Can't really see it, it's so bright. Yeah, there it is. So I will bring this fence, I'll redo this fence and probably bring it diagonally across and tie it into this wooden post right here, which would give us another separate pasture area. And I've been bush hogging it, getting rid of the dog fennel or whatever i still got some but the grass is looking really good there's epstein bees are gone epstein died he didn't kill himself though and on the other side of that tree back in the distance you can see the lsu hive so again that just gives you a little perspective as to where we are oh good brownies found some stuff blue loves to walk the fence with us and because it goes through the trees through the woods we're gonna likely we're gonna need to walk it every day or every couple of days or whatever because you know we could very well have limbs and trees down and whatnot so we got another 12 foot gate right here which is very handy um, joining into the area that's the high tunnel let me unlock this fence and we'll pick up on the other side. All right, so we just came through that fence. There's Bean with her stick on her head, Brownie, the puppies. So we got this, this area out here that is pasture-like, but something weird about this, this is the, the least fertile ground in the whole place. I don't know because it gets a lot of shade or what, but I got to work on this to get better grass. So the old fence line came across here. We cut a gap in it just to help to make it easier on them with their tractor. But all of this is gonna come down, all of this fence. So I'm very excited about the number of T posts <laughs> that I'm gonna have available. I hadn't counted them, but it's probably 30, 30 or more. So <clears throat> that's exciting. Everybody needs a refrigerator out in their woods, right? This is a pretty little place. We're probably going to build the, uh, a goat shelter up under up under these trees here. It's so cool up and it stays so cool up in here. So that'll be good for them. Build a rain shelter for them. I love trails. Am I the only one? Let me know in the comments. Do you love trails? I love trails, even tractor trails. And this one will look a whole lot better once the leaves cover it back up.
There's the door. We got to get that up. Patty's gonna fuss at me. It will be. Uh, that used to be an old hog house. We're gonna use. We're gonna re uh, uh, recoup that as best we can, and and that's gonna be the the starting of the goat shelter that we're gonna make right back here. I gotta get this out of here. This is the door for the high tunnel that we bought second hand that we tore down or they tore down and loaded it on the trailer for us uh, from Bloods and Booms, Blooms Nursery. Got to get it out of here before the, before the goats mess it up. There's the high tunnel area. I got temporary water out here for the goats because we have to build. I had to plumb this water line right here. And what we have to do is, is build a, a big concrete platform out here i think it has to be like 10 feet uh 10 feet in either where i'm gonna sit this right over there in front of that faucet right up against the fence so i'll have to the concrete will have to come out 10 feet 10 feet this way 10 feet that way and 10 feet that way i think it's 10 whatever it is uh, it has to you know so called a heavy use area that's not it something like that uh, to keep them from making a mud hole. I can see the Henry has walked where I plumbed the water line. I got to come through here when it dries out a little bit and redo some of that. There's the high tunnel. Look at the grass. Man, we've had so much rain. I just hadn't been able to get in there and handle the grass. I need to do it. And here's the third 12 foot gate. Now we're going to, we're going to sink a post right here. Actually, on the other side of that fence, I got to be careful because my water line runs right through here. But we're going to sink a post right there and, and put like a real gate um, instead of using this fence panel that we've been using for a gate forever. We'll sink a post right here to, to tie this off on and then we'll mount a gate, an official gate there. Just came through that gate. <laughs> I had it too tight. I like to never got it open. This is our old, I don't know if we've ever even shown you this, but we got a 40 foot shipping container buried right there for a storm shelter. And we didn't know what we were doing and neither did the guy that buried it. And even though we smeared the whole thing with tar, it sweats in there and it's just unusable. It's kind of usable as a root cellar. It does stay really cold all the way back here. This is a, that's on top of a vent that we had it cut in it. So it's underneath the earth way back here and it stays so cool. So as a root cellar, it's fine. But what I need is a ventilation system. I need to get uh, I need to get a little solar powered fan or something that would run the entire time. Old pine tree we got pushed down right before the fence came in. So uh, I may just lay it, leave it there to rot, or I may clean it up. But this out here in the front, when the goats get through with it, it's going to look like a national park, and we're excited about that. There's the house. There's the camper in the house. Uh, if you can tell. Uh, so again, just to give you a perspective of where this is, it's right out in front. What's the matter, Blue? You tired? Contractor Jason, uh, Justin Subi did a great job on it. See, the fence, you know, comes it's way up here. I mean, uh, Brian Stelter could have walked right under it. But we took that fence panel and they cut it to fit and trimmed and it's pushed down in the ground and uh, staked on there. So that's, uh, that's really great. I like it. So come here. And now it runs, runs down the driveway. <laughs> Looks like I got some packages out there. Hey, Henry. What say, Henry? I hear goats hollering. They don't know where they are. They're lost. <laughs> They'll find their way back. So again, I highly recommend doing business with the NRCS. Hey, if you pay taxes, get some of your tax dollars back in the form of some fencing. What you got to do is locate your farm service agency office. You can you can 
look online to find the nearest FSA office, Farm Service Agency office, and you have to go get your farm registered and get a farm number with the FSA. Some of you are going to say, heck no, I ain't doing that. I get it. I used to think that too. It's 12 inches this way. Oops. 12 inches this way and graduating heights from the bottom to the top. Or I think this is six inches at the top, but and four and five. I don't know. But it stretches and it moves. So it's high tensile. So it comes back. So the goats can get their head through it, but they can also get their heads out a lot, a lot easier. So they say. So we're going to find out about it. Anyway. There's a, a little brief tour of our brand spanking new uh, NRCS fence, about just at 1,700 feet. And uh, most of it is incorporating woodlot, uh, which is what goats prefer. Henry's got some grass out there, and uh, he likes to browse too. He thinks he's a goat. Anyway, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, let us know what you like, what you don't. Uh, we appreciate all, all comments. Subscribe if you will. Uh, we do like to see who's interested. We can't believe anybody's interested, but <laughs> it, it, we're humbled that, that you are. So thanks for watching and have a great day.